did you just buy a home? You need to be really aware of these scams, which I am going to talk about it. Scams are everywhere. If you pull up a list, um, just pull it up on a regular basis, which I made a habit because some famous person said a few years ago that if you've not been a victim so far, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. That kind of opened my eyes because being in this business, I hear a lot of my clients going through identity theft, uh, mortgage scam, title company scam, business imposters, home warranty con, loan scams, meaning those are really fabricated so well that for you to believe that they are your lender. So let's talk about the very first scam you will be exposed to after you buy the home. The list is open in the courthouse and this is what they prey on. They get that list and send the letters that we are a partnering company uh, with your lender and they have sold the loan to us. We don't have all the details. Can you give us your loan number? That should be your first red flag. They take the loan number from you. They will take the personal information from you. And next thing you know is you have become a prey to their trick. They are dirty tricks. And before you get washed out of title or anything like that. In fact, I had heard that one man in California had paid to this partnering companies almost for four years, regular mortgage payment, which were not going to the mortgage company at all. They were just the imposters. How they prevented him getting things in mail, I really don't know. But always ask your title company and your lender to send you all the bills or anything through email. Nothing through a regular mail where people can have the chance of victimizing you. Second scam, very common, is the deed processing notice. So you get a bill stating that you owe money for a copy of your deed or property assessment profile. Don't pay it. Property deeds are mailed to you free after a sale or a transfer of the property. If you need an additional copy, you can call your title company or you can call the county clerk's office. So that way you call your county and in the clerk's office, you'll be able to get an extra copy of your deed. Always save the deed. Um, you can make a, a folder of your home and then drop all your deed and any important papers in it. So that way it stays with you. But if you lose it, no big deal. You can get it from a county clerk's office, a copy of your deed. This is imposters. These are legitimate utility company who will show up at your door or they will send you a bill and you will think they're actual the gas company or the actual water company. Uh, if you check their emails, it will be very close to the real company name and they will collect the money. So be careful. Check the emails, ch check the authenticity, make sure that website, whatever you open are secured. The way to know is after HTTP, there is a S. If it is a S, it's a secured company. It's a legitimate company. So be careful again for your utility companies. These people are con and they will take $1,000 to $5,000 without having any qualms which don't belong to them. Another con, very famous, is home warranty con. You are not required to buy a home warranty when you buy a home. Everybody knows it. You have to have a homeowner's insurance, but homeowner's warranty is optional. So again, you'll be conned. You did not sign up for home warranty and here is your bill and otherwise you will lose all the benefit. You on that property, we had a home warranty and to now extend it, you will have to pay $1,500 and it will cover your home warranty against appliance breakdown and everything exactly like home warranty does for $1,500. And people will mail a check or open a credit card even worse and give them the credit card information. Home warranty con again are common. I have heard them and believe me, uh, just because you haven't heard, a lot of people say, when I talk about this at every closing, you know, with my client, sometime I get once in a while, hey, we haven't heard anything. You are trying to scare us. No, I'm not trying to scare. That's why I'm going to do this video and stop telling you any kind of scams happening at the closing because that's your happiest day, you know, so I can understand that. Last one, I will talk about the biggest one is the loan scams. Companies that urge you to refinance shortly after closing make money on excessive loan fees. Sometimes they also put you on a hard interest rate and you think you are getting a refinance. You haven't seen any papers. You go straight to the closing because they tell you, hey, you just did the closing. This is nothing. It's a refi. I'm going to drop the interest rate to 1% rate and they are total fake companies, all fake papers, and they will create as if there is a notary title company officer coming to your house and you don't even have to go to the title company. That's your red flag. So guys, be careful. Now that you are a homeowner, 
you are definitely a prey to a group of company or the fraudsters or the scammers group and just stay safe and enjoy your home. Anytime there is any questions or anything looks questionable, definitely call your loan officer or your realtor and they will get you out of it. Thank you. Hope this helped you.